Hey everybody, Seth Hawkins, Community Forester with the Georgia Forestry Commission here. Today we're going to talk about proper tree planting. It's really important to do your homework and know what you're doing when you plant a tree because a lot of problems can be avoided by doing things right at the time of planting. So you want to do things like make sure you have plenty of soil volume, plenty of room for utilities, infrastructure, other trees, things like that. And we're going to go through the whole process today of digging the hole, planting the tree, and watering it, mulching it in, so you can kind of see the entire process that's involved with planting a tree. So Matt Peterson and Alex Ballard, also with the Georgia Forestry Commission, are going to help us dig this hole and get this thing prepped for the tree. So the first thing you'll notice, they're kind of already starting to excavate a circle around this thing. The deal is you want this to be at least twice as wide as the root ball of this tree, maybe even three times as wide if the soil is very compacted. But one of the biggest mistakes we see with tree planting is the hole being dug too deep or not being dug wide enough. So again, you're going to want to notice that we're going to dig this thing out nice and wide, at least twice as wide as that root ball. If you're in really heavily compacted clay soils, maybe three times as wide. Another thing you're going to notice is we're kind of slanting the edges of the hole at about a 30 plus degree angle. Because if you do just straight down the sides of the hole, it's going to encourage circling roots. So you really want it to be kind of leveled out like a uh, bathtub almost. So we're almost wrapped up digging the hole. I just wanted to point out a few specific things about this before we actually take the tree out of the pot. Um, we've all heard the old adage, you put a $10 tree in a $100 hole, and that really is true. Uh, you really wanna make sure you do a good job digging this hole. So some of the things that you'll notice about this hole are how wide it is. Again, we want that at least twice as wide as the root ball, maybe even three times if it's really heavily compacted soil. Um, also, you'll notice those slanted sides. You'll also notice it's not very deep. Another huge mistake we see with tree planting is the hole being dug too deep and the tree it settles and is too deep and it causes a lot of problems. And the final thing that I like to do before I start getting the tree into the hole is you can see what Alex and Matt are doing. They're kind of scraping up the sides of that hole. That's just going to break up any clay films that might have formed as we were digging the hole with our shovel and make sure that the water can move laterally through the landscape better. So now that we got our hole finished up and touched up the way we want to, now the next thing is to get this tree out of its container and uh, touch up that root ball before we actually put it in the hole. So it's important to take these out of the pot and just inspect the root ball a little bit just to make sure you don't have any circling roots, girdling roots, anything like that, and just kind of tease all that out. So we got it out of the pot and this one's not that bad, but you can see where some of the roots were starting to circle a little bit and that's just inherent in the process of growing a tree in a pot you're gonna get circling roots. This actually doesn't have hardly any, which is great. But I like to take these out of the pot and just kind of fluff them out, get some of those little roots that are turning back into itself, especially look around on the bottom, the bottom of the pot so they really like to congregate and just kind of you know, fluff all those out, tease them out and just really open up this root ball. I call it scratching its back, just kind of waking it up and getting them ready for his new home. We're gonna make sure that our root flare, and our root collar is nice and exposed right here and these first order roots are visible. Um, the reason being, if you think about a tree in nature, it's planted nice and shallow. And naturally it grows up and shallow out of the ground. You see that nice buttress and that root flare at the bottom. So when you see a tree, if it's planted to like here and looks like a telephone pole coming straight out of the ground, it's been planted too deep and that can cause issues for the tree. So now it's time to actually get it in the hole and make sure we got our depth right on the hole. So remember I was saying that it's really bad for the tree to plant it too deep, so it's very important just to make sure that we've got it about probably an inch above soil grade. So this is looking pretty good. The way I like to kind of test myself is take a rake or something and set it across the hole. It looks like our root flare, which is that change of texture and that bark right there and that buttress, is about an inch above soil grade, which is right where we want it. Because next time it rains and when we water it in, it's going to settle just a little bit and we should be right at soil grade with that root flare. But this depth looks good. Um, now it's just kind of backfilling, making sure the tree stays straight during that process and um, backfilling in around it, and then we'll water and mulch it in. Mm -hmm. 
So we got the tree in the hole, nice and shallow, made sure it's not too deep. And you also, this is your last chance to check for straightness as well. This tree's got a little bit of a bow in the trunk, not a big deal. Just kind of ignore that bow right at the base and just make sure the majority of the trunk of the tree is straight and it should straighten itself up over time as it's reaching for the sun. And you don't want to too firmly pack it, but just a little bit, just to give the tree some stability, but you don't want to stomp it real hard. So we got our little white oak planted like we want it. It's uh, nice and shallow up in its hole. Um, it's back filled and everything. And it's still uh, relatively straight again uh, with a tree that's got a little bow in that that makes it a little difficult, but um, this should straighten that trunk up over time as it's reaching for the sun. So really the last things to do are to water this thing in properly and apply some mulch to it. So when you go to water a tree, um, this is how I like to water newly planted trees. It's gonna feel like you're really flooding it. Seems like a lot of water, but that's kind of the point. You're wanting to flush any air pockets out of that planting hole. Make sure you've got direct soil to root contact down in there. Uh, the rule of thumb is about five to seven gallons per caliper inch at planting. So this tree is about, probably about an inch, inch and a half caliper. So we're gonna apply about 10 gallons of water to really make sure this thing is flooded out and really settled in its hole and watered in well. So the last thing after we've watered the tree in is to apply a nice little mulch ring around the tree. And that mulch is gonna do a lot of good things for the tree, you know, uh, conserving soil moisture, protecting the soil from the sun and the pounding energy of rain, all that good stuff. But again, just recreating those natural growing conditions from the woods by making sure there's a good adequate mulch ring around this tree. About two to three inches thick, um, about three to four feet out from the stem on a small tree like this is a good rule of thumb. So um, again, you just want the mulch about two to three inches thick, about four feet out from the trunk of a small tree like this. One other thing to, that's important to do when you're mulching is making sure that mulch is pulled back from the trunk a little bit. And there's a little bit of space from the trunk. You don't want it mounded right up on the trunk like that. It can cause girdling roots and root rot issues and things. So it's important just to make sure there's a little space between the base of that root collar and your actual mulch ring. So just pull it back a little bit. You got a nice uniform disc around it. Um, trees watered in, so this tree with some long-term care should be a nice long-time resident of this space. If you'd like to learn more about other tree care topics, you can go to our website, gatrees.org. There's a lot of other tree care resources and videos there for you to check out so you can learn how to better care for the trees in your backyard. So that's all we have today for proper tree planting. Um, thanks for watching. We hope you learned something, and we will see you all next time.